Four years, four years, four years. It has been four years. Metroid Prime 4 was restarted four years ago. That is unfathomable, to be honest with you. I remember when the delay happened and I recorded my reaction video and reporting on the news. I was sitting at the desk here and I just had this defeated, depressed mood about it all. It was really... It was not good news, to be honest. It completely shattered my hopes and wishes as a Metroid fan at the time. I had a lot of faith in Nintendo and I knew they were making the right decision, but ultimately I was disappointed, obviously. We all were, of course. I mean, I thought the game would come out in 2019, but that wasn't the case. And obviously made worse by the fact that we'd known about the game since 2017, so the wait was even longer. I was, I keep saying this to people, I was 15 when Metroid Prime 4 was announced. I'm going to be like probably 23 or something by the time the game comes out. That's mental, like that is unbelievable. <laughs> it's crazy depressing to imagine, but that is, that is the reality of the situation we're in. So yeah, what is the state of Metroid Prime 4 going into 2023, you know? The game was restart. The announcement came in 2019 that the restart happens. Rumors and leaks say the restart actually happens in September 2018. So where does that leave us? Because there was the pandemic in 2020 that also lasted a bit into 2021. So surely that affected development. Surely that means we're waiting even longer for the game. Do we see the game this year or do we not see this year? You know, I've said before, I always expected the game would come out in 2023, but the more I think about it, maybe the pandemic pushed it back. Maybe we were supposed to get Metroid Prime HD last year, and then because of a delay, because of the pandemic, Metroid Prime 4 was pushed into 2024, and so Prime HD was pushed to this year. Complete speculation. I don't know. That's the best guess I can come up with. But if that is the case, you know, the... The idea for an annual Metroid release might have been pushed back a bit, but even ignoring all that, just focusing on Prime 4 itself, do we see the game this year? Regardless of its releasing, do we see the game this year? <sighs> you know, it's, it's very hard to give a definitive answer, it really is. I, as I said, I always believed it was coming out in, at the end of this year, but now that we're in 2023, it's like, it almost feels too soon, it's weird. So, I don't know. We're going to be coming up in a February Nintendo Direct soon, probably in the next two weeks. It's usually the second week of February, so do we see the game then? And if not then, do we see it at E3? Do we see it by the September Direct? I, I really can't say, because no matter what way I put it, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine it happening, but at the same time, it's hard to imagine going a whole other year without something. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm sure Nintendo and Retro don't want to talk about the game until it's ready. That's obvious. The one thing we should get out of the way. Since the very beginning, Nintendo have been clear. They don't want to talk about this game until it's ready. Like, until the game is like nine months out from release, right? Case in point, Metroid Dread. It was announced four months before it came out. Metroid Prime 4. They announced it in 2017. Why? When the one they were working on the game, it, it was probably supposed to come out in two or three years, but also Sam's Returns came out on the Switch. Nintendo didn't want us to think that we were only getting a game on the 3DS and we weren't going to get a Metroid game on Switch. So they announced Prime 4 early, especially after Federation Force ended on a cliffhanger and we were all wondering where that was going to go. So I guess they did that out of a feeling of necessity. And they've said, you know, over the years, you go back to old interviews with Reggie or even with like Doug Bowser recently or whatever. Anytime they, they're asked about Metroid Prime 4, they'll always say, Nintendo will talk about this game when it's ready. Meaning like we're not going to see the game until it's, number one, it's close to completion. Why? They don't want to tease us. It's been painful waiting this long. They don't want to give us a trailer now when the game isn't coming up for two years. Because that would make the feeling, in their mind, Nintendo thinks that would make it worse for us. Because we've seen footage of the game. Now we're going mental. We know it exists. We're all super hyper and stuff. And now we have to wait. E 
we have to wait longer for concrete information and more trailers in the actual release. Nintendo wants that window between trailers and release to be short. They want to show the game as close to its release as possible so that they can show us the best version. The expectations on Retro Studios are insurmountable. They're insanely high and Nintendo knows when we see this game it needs to look fucking fantastic. The first time we see this game, our first impressions, our jaws need to be on the floor. So they're not going to show it to us now when the footage looks unfinished and the environments look very textureless and flat and not as detailed or colored. Of course not. They're going to show us the game when all the visuals and the textures and stuff are up to standard, when they're at the absolute best they can possibly be, when they're close to finalized. That way there's no disappointments. There's nothing from the fans going, oh, this doesn't look how I imagine it. I imagine the game looking incredible and yet it doesn't. Even though it's early, some fans are not going to accept that. You know, some fans are going to think, well, you had four years, it shouldn't look like this. So Nintendo's not going to put itself through that hassle. I imagine they're just going to show the game right on the threshold of its release, which God knows when that's going to be. I honestly couldn't tell you. So, I mean, on the other hand, though, the pressure, like with Bayonetta 3, it felt like when the reveal for that came up in 2021, when we finally got our first proper trailer for the game, <clears throat> it felt like the pressure was really on there. Like there was so much from the fans and everyone in the community. There was this built up tension and pressure that we need to see this game now. We have to see it now. It's been four years and we did see it. It feels like that with Metroid Prime 4. I'm getting a sense of feeling from the general Nintendo community of we need to see this game like now. This is ridiculous. It's been four years. We understand the situation, but for God's sakes, give us something. So I wonder if Nintendo is feeling that pressure and that burn. And they're going to be like, you know what? Let's throw out something. Let's throw them a bone, even if it's another year or so away. The minimum we can do is that. And at least it will convince the fans that this game is real. I am wondering about that. February Nintendo Direct, though? I don't know. I don't think so. Could it come at E3? Probably. That would be the place to show it. But at the same time, if you show it in a September Nintendo Direct, that means you're close to a year out from release, which would make sense when to show it. Because it's probably a holiday game, right? So if it's not November this year, it's probably November next year. Or because maybe they're finished the game this year, but they delayed an entire year to the end of 2024, right? Or maybe they come out in August. I don't know. But if they wait till this, if they wait till the September Nintendo Direct, it means the game is coming out either the following October or November, and it would make sense. That would be within Nintendo's usual time frame of announcing and showing trailers to games. A year to nine months beforehand is what Nintendo usually does. So when we see Metroid Prime 4, that's the time frame we would be in. So if we see it within, if it's, if we don't see it by February, as in whatever the Nintendo Direct is in two, three, four weeks, whatever, then it's not coming by next spring. If you don't see it by June, by E3, assuming E3 goes ahead, then it's not coming by next summer. So, you know, by that line of thinking, that's why I'm thinking holiday 2024. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we get a trailer. My ideal situation is we get a trailer in the next Nintendo Direct. The game is coming out at the end of this year. That's what I want. And I'm sure that's what you all want as well. But I, I, I don't know if I can see that happening. On the one hand, the job listings, you know, they make it seem like the game is almost finished or completely finished. And Retro is working on a completely new game right now. I did videos before which were kind of going off um, information by another YouTuber, Super Metal Dave 64 and it was the idea was that Metroid Prime 4 was 70% complete at that time, the development, and that was like a year or two ago, maybe two years ago, so if that's true, the game is done or close to done by now, so we should be seeing it soon. But again, you know, some of the job listings, some of the other ones seem to say otherwise, so there's this sort of conflicting information going on. We can't really decipher anything meaningful from the job listings, other than some of the environment work and the details, right? In terms of a timeline of how close to completion this game is, 
we cannot say with concrete proof what the situation is there. It's all just guesswork because the information seems to contradict itself in some ways. But I don't know. We are four years on from the delay of Metroid Prime 4. I've coped in that time period by forgetting the game exists. When that delay happened, I told myself, okay, this game isn't coming up for many years. Shinya Takahashi even said in that video, it would be a long time. So it's best to just forget about the game. Pretend it was never announced. Pretend it doesn't exist. Because if I keep thinking about Metroid Prime 4, I will drive myself to absolute insanity. So I just blocked it from my mind. And that kind of became easier, surprisingly, as time went on. Because the entire Nintendo community went silent. Because we all knew we weren't going to see this game for multiple years. So everyone just stopped talking about it for the most part. And whenever someone did mention it in conversation, you just kind of went... There's no point in mentioning it, it's years away, don't even bother name dropping it, right? That's what it became like, and so, you know, it, it became easier for me anyway. I know a lot of people still thinking about it every day, and they, the weight is painful, and they're driving themselves mental, and I feel for those people. For me, I just, I drove it from my mind. Yeah, I did videos on the job listings and stuff, but apart from that, I don't think about Metroid Prime 4 often, because the game... To my perception, my current perspective doesn't exist. I've seen nothing of the game outside of job listings. All we can do is speculate. I've already speculated on everything I can. What I think the plot is going to be, you know, everything about Silux and all of that, you know. We've done all that. We've done that a hundred times. There's nothing else you can say about the game until we get actual information from the game itself. So there's no point talking about it, you know. That's why I've kind of I take long gaps between talking about in videos, and in general, I don't think about Metroid Prime 4 as much. Um, I hadn't thought about it for a long time until Metroid Dread was announced. You know, they, they mentioned it briefly beforehand that development was going well, and then when they announced Dread, I was so happy because that fills that void. We got a Metroid game, and it was, it was the other one we were waiting years for. It was the other Metroid game we were waiting a long time for. It was Metroid 5. And, you know, that was everything. That was a literal dream come true. You all know the whole situation there. That was fantastic. A lot of people feel the same as me. Maybe some people don't because it's a 2D game. But for me personally, that was more than enough. Like, I completely forgot Metroid Prime 4 was a thing. I didn't even care about Metroid Prime 4 in those... In the four months from June to October, three months, whatever it was. And that time period from the announcement of Dread to its release, couldn't care less about Prime 4 because I was getting the other game I really wanted for years. Like, my most requested video game of all time, and I got it. So Prime 4 didn't matter. You know, forget about that. Dread was an excellent substitute, and it was exactly what I wanted from to keep me tied over. And yeah, I had some small complaints with Dread, but overall it was close to exactly what I wanted. So that made things so easy. And, you know, we, we forgot about Metro Prime 4 for months, you know. As Dread's hype died down, you know, the Game Awards happened, and then the the free updates happened, you went to February, right? And then by April, those updates had ended, and the whole journey with Metroid Dread was over. So it's back to Metroid Prime 4 now, unless something else comes along. So, yeah, it's Metroid Prime 4 will no doubt be popping into my mind a bit more frequently as we go on, because... It's the next Metroid game on the horizon, as far as we know. So it's going to be harder to sort of push it away from the mind, especially as more people get concerned and more people talk about it with each passing day. But who knows? Like, what? I, there's nothing else we can say because it's impossible to predict, right? We don't know when we're going to see this game. We don't know anything about it, Do you know. It's aimless speculation at this point, and I tend to avoid that because by doing aimless speculation, you set expectations for yourself, and then you get disappointed when your own expectations and your own imagination is not what the real product is. So I tend to avoid that. But anyways, this is just a quick little discussion on Metroid Prime 4. I wanted to touch base with you all and talk about the four-year delay, where we stand right now, and if we could see the game this year. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. How did you feel uh, about the whole Metroid Prime 4 situation? Are we seeing it this year? Is it releasing this year? You know, 
have you been able to block it out from your mind? Have you been thinking about it every day, driving yourself crazy? I want to hear everything you say down in the comment section below. And yeah, with that all said, thank you all for watching and please subscribe. Novus Corvius out.